One of my favorite games to play with my math students is called the secret number game. And in this game, students try to guess correctly the number I have written down on my paper. If you want to learn more, keep watching, but don't forget to download the free PDF with the graphic organizer and the instructions. That link is down below. Let's go. When you go ahead and download your free PDF, the link will be down below in the description. You are going to get materials needed and you can always use different things like whiteboards, uh, individual whiteboards, plain paper. We have the directions on how to play and also ways to differentiate the game. So we're gonna go ahead and begin. Here is the, what I call the teacher graphic organizer. If you want your students to use this one first, go for it. And I also have the one that is more individualized in columns where you can have more guesses and you can always make copies, cut those or laminate them. So I'm gonna come up with my number. It is going to be 24. And something to note is that numbers uh, in this case, I tell students they cannot be uh, double in digits, meaning they cannot be 11, 22, 33, and so on. The reason why is if they say 34, I can say one digit is correct and one in the correct place value, and it's going to throw everything off. So we're gonna go ahead and just select 24, and we're gonna go ahead and simulate. If a student says 17, well, I know my number's two and four, so I'm gonna tell them zero digits are correct, zero are in the correct place value. With that being said, we can go ahead and tell students to cross out one and seven. Next, we're gonna say another student or group says 23. Well, here we see that we have one correct digit. So we're gonna say one digit is correct, and it's also correct in the correct place value. So we're getting closer. Tell students to circle the two and the three. This is gonna tell them these are num digits that could possibly be in our number. Let's say the next guess is 53. I'm gonna tell students that zero digits are correct and zero are in the correct place value. And as you're teaching the strategy, you're gonna say the only number that continued was three. So cross out the three and also go ahead and cross out the five. Now, you can have a conversation with the students and tell them that which number is correct in the correct place value. It's two in the tens place. You can tell them your next guess should have a two in the tens place. Student can say 20. One digit is correct, one in the correct place value. And you go forward more and more, say 26 one and one until ultimately students are crossing out those numbers and then they'll say your secret number then you'll say two digits are correct two in the correct place value 